What's going on guys? Welcome to Trash Deck Thursday. Today for One Piece we're going to be looking at a deck that isn't really trash. In One Piece there really are no trash decks that do well against other decks or are designed to defeat them. So today we're going to be looking at the Zoro list that I've been piloting. This is my main list that I've always used. It's what I used in last Meta Monday's video. But today the purpose of using Zoro is we're just going to show you one of Black Smoker's worst matchups and why Black Smoker struggles against Zoro most of the time. Now, if you watch my Meta Monday on Smoker, we actually beat Zoro, but it was very risky on if we could or not. And in this video today, we're just showcasing a deck that defeats the deck of the week in theory and in theory as well as proven Zoro does well against Black Smoker. So this is the list that we're going to use today. It's the most common basic thing for Otama, for Nami, for Robin, for Zoro. Basically four of everything. That way you have as much power as possible behind swings. You have everything that can swing heavy. So that's the general idea behind today's video, guys. I hope you enjoy. Remember, if you do, smash that like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. All right, guys. Here we are. We're playing against Smoker. Now, Zoro isn't necessarily trash deck material. But for the essence of One Piece, I need to make a video that kind of showcases a deck that does well against Smoker, and Zoro is that deck. So, let's see. Let's, let's see. I'm going first. I want to look for more removal options, and we do have Otama into Vista, so that's not too bad. I did wish that we started a Gordon, however, because Gordon would allow for better play when it comes down to going into the Vista. So we placed Garp. We actually did draw the Jet Pistol, which is fantastic. So here we're just going to swing five. Zoro is very aggressive when it comes to playing against Smoker. They rely so much on discarding cards, and Zoro puts so much pressure that... The idea of having no cards in hand and having to deal with multiple attacks makes it very difficult. So here he just chooses to block. That's fine. We're going to Vista get rid of the Garp. Garp serves a purpose because we actually play one drops. So let's see. There's the Borsalino. Okay, so that makes things a lot better. So we could just do a 5k swing or we could curly and set up board. Looking at his hand though, he has four cards in hand. I kind of want to put enough pressure. So here we're going to do a 5k swing. It's either dumps a card or forces a block. And then I can just go 8k into the Borsalino. He has to drop at least two cards. Nine would be the same. But we're actually going to just swing six into six, see if he combos, which is fine. And then we have Zoro to swing six again. He's going to have to dump more cards. That's fine. So he has two cards in hand. Three cards now with the draw. He has a Borsalino on board. We do have two attackers. He can't play Kobe. So while it looks over, it's far from it. Zoro's really at a board state where it can come back from really anything. And the factor, if you really think about it, those 6k swings would have dumped cards anyways on his leader swing. So he chooses to swing 7. We're just going to dump the Machino. Now we can play Sakazuki and Pop. Okay, so there's the Smoker. So here is apparent that we don't play any cards that can minus cost. So I think we'll go 6k, 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 Curly, drop. So we can actually go 6, 6, 6 and then drop two Curly to Dawns. So here's the 6k swing. Chooses to block, which is fine. Here we'll do another 6k swing. He did draw a trigger, which is draw two, discard one. Here we'll swing six again. He's either going to have to dump the card in his hand, or he's going to have to block with the Borsalino. So he chooses to block, which is fine. And here we're just going to double Curly. I'm going to grab the Nami, just in case I need to grab Jet Pistol at all. And the other Curly will grab Otama. Because if he decides to play the 10 drop Kuzan, we can actually double Otama into Jet Pistol, which KOs the big threat on the board. And he's not going to be able to swing double strike at all. So here he swings 7k. 
He's going to be dealing with our board pretty heavy now. Looking at this, that's going to be a 7k swing. I don't want him to touch my life, and I want him to turn cards sideways. So, we'll get rid of the Nami and the Magra. Or, I'm sorry, the Otama and the Magra for an 8k. Now, that's a 7 into 3, which is fine. Here, he can sock Azuki, but he has to drop his whole hand. So, he has no way to actually block anything. So, let's do this. Let's go... We can Otama and Jet Pistol the Sakazuki and swing on the Borsalino and swing on this but I'm gonna need a lot of Dawn investment for that so the first thing we'll do is we'll swing seven this means if he blocks okay so he lets it through that's fine now we have multiple attacks that we can go through with he doesn't have any cards in hand so he's probably gonna take these attacks I really don't want to deal with that Sakazuki right now So let's do this. Let's go 6k. And then we're going to Otama and Jet Pistol the Sakazuki. Zoro with Setu has a lot of potential to work well with board removal. So he plays Kuzon. That's fine. If he has a removal card. He's going to have a hard time dealing with the board. And next turn we're at 10 Dawn. So we can actually play Nami into possibly two Zoros. So there's the Kobe. He's going to have to discard, which is fine. Um, let's see. I need him to take life, but the first thing we're going to do is we're going to Nami, see what we can grab. It's no valid target, so we'll just double Nami. I'm looking for the Rush Zoro, so we do have the Rush Zoro. So, four, five, six, we'll go 6k swing, because if he chooses to block, I need to make sure that the Borsalino dies. And then, we'll go here, and we'll just go 7-7. Seven, seven. So there's the 7-7. Seven, seven. He's going to have to drop two cards and he lets the Porcelino go. Like I said, Zoro's not a bad deck by any means. It's designed to really be aggressive and Black has a hard time dealing with aggression. So I wouldn't necessarily say it's a bad deck, but I am going to counter here because I want to keep as much alive as possible. So here, he does a 5k swing, that's fine. The Kuzan's going to swing 5. I'm going to force him to have to play a card that's going to pop because that's going to leave one card in hand. So there's the 10 drop Kuzon, so that's fine. So he's all tapped out, he has no blockers. And so now we can just do the 5-7-9 strategy. Um, Let's do this. So we'll do 5. Okay, so he chooses to dump, so this Nami's 3 right now, so we'll just go 7. So that's... F yeah, that's 7k he has to take. And then we'll just do 9k, he has no way to block it. And we'll just say GG. Thank you. Now, Zoro, like I said, not a bad deck by any means. Just a quick video showcasing how Red does a lot of things against uh, black and I just wanted to showcase just a quick video of how a deck that is designed to be aggressive can really do well against black because black relies on the defense as well as the offense with getting rid of cards and if they can't get rid of cards it's really tough for them to come back especially against Zoro there's so many swings and with little cards in your hand it's not the easiest but if you guys did enjoy today's video Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.